हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर फोर सो इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियोस वी आर ऑलरेडी कवर्ड योर एस आर एंड डी फी फ्लॉप टू फिनिश ऑफ द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो व्हिच इज नथिंग बट द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट व्हिच इज नथिंग बट योर जेके फी फ्लॉप ओके सो टुडे वी विल हैव अ ग्लांस ऑन द कोड ऑफ योर जेके फी फ्लॉप एंड वी विल आल्सो चेक हाउ टू वेरीफाई दिस फ्लिप फ्लॉप सो द सिंबल ऑफ योर जेके फी फ्लॉप लुक्स समथिंग लाइक दिस so it is very similar to your sr flip flop as all of you know jk and sr are very similar but what is one small difference the one small difference here is nothing but in sr flip flop you are getting a forbidden state in sr flip flop you are getting a forbidden state in order to avoid that forbidden state we are come across your jk flip flop wherein we will be replacing that forbidden state with a toggling condition that is one small change between your sr flip flop and jk so uh, in in exam most of the times your examiner will be uh, will be trying to see the last combination which is 1 1 which will provide you the toggling condition so you can just have a look at the to table here friends so uh, the clock is high in all the instances so when it is 0 0 no change or you can say the previous condition is continued when it is 0 1 the flip flop is reset when it is 1 0 it is set And when it is one one, it is toggling. It is toggling between Q and Q one, Q Q and Q bar. Okay, that is, it will produce one and zero, one and zero. So in exam, the examiners will try to look upon this last condition. Why? Because only this condition is differentiating your SR and JK flip flop. So if you get this condition, your JK is working properly. It means that your JK is working properly. Okay. So let us now quickly move ahead with the code. So this is your JK flip flop code. Okay, I hope so. It's visible. And uh, yeah, again here, if we start from the beginning, you already know regarding this time scale. Let us not waste time on that. Let us quickly jump to the main logic of your code. So module followed by the name of the module, which is JK FF. so inside bracket you are written you are all the inputs and outputs so jk again we are taken in it is only one variable only simple reason because again you already know we will be applying your case statement so inside case statement we are taken jk as one variable so that means input must be 1 down to 0 that is jk not and jk1 it means that your j will become jk not your k will become jk1 that is the difference why you are i told the reason because we will be applying the case statement okay so output has been defined then the same output will be defined in the form of a register so we'll start with your uh, sensitivity list so always at the positive edge of the clock most of the times here we are mentioning jk as well just an experiment for you guys remove this jk just put the clock and try whether you will be getting the proper output or not you write out with the code Okay, so always at JK comma positive edge of the clock. So begin. Plus zero. Continue with the previous state. When it is zero one, when it is zero one, the flip flop is reset. When it is one zero, it is set. And when it is one one, it is toggling. That's all. very simple code friends the logic is pretty simple very similar to a result flip flop just change one condition which is one one and finally your qb is nothing but it is not of the negation of your output q so end to this case here we are end to the case here end this always and finally end the module okay so this is all regarding your jk flip flop so to this we will be writing a test bench so test bench remains the same for uh, as i was telling you for almost all of the flip flops the test bench will remain the same so your inputs here are mentioned in the form of a register that is jk and clock outputs are mentioned in the form of your uh, wires which is q and qb very important step this one you need to link your uh, main logic of your jk with this test bench how do you link by keeping the same name as your jk flip flop the, the keeping the same name of your main code so the main code is what now here jk ff so even here what it should be it should be the same jk ff 
followed by your instance name here instance we have taken jk1 you can take you can put your own name also no problem then all your inputs and outputs so here when we were initializing the clock the same way how we have done in your all the previous flip flops we have initialized clock is equal to 0 next we have generated the clock here how to generate the clock by negating the clock so when you negate the clock very important step this less than symbol it should be less than or equal to wrong so start executing here so here we have written all the combinations of your input starting from 00 to 11 so you can observe here initially it is 00 after 15 nanoseconds 01 and so on finally this initial block is for the visibility of your output so visibility of the output is possible how friends with the help of your monitor okay so make sure you use the same uh, order or sequence so jk is first so therefore here also i write jk first because this of the simple reason the mapping should happen properly what are the mapping happens that should happen so you know how to implement it click on implementation and do the check syntax go for simulation click on the top module don't expand it don't expand it and click on the lower module click on the top module okay then do the behavior of check syntax finally simulate your behavior model so the simulation is done if i want to see the outputs in the form of the behaviors again click on this fit to screen that is zoom to full view so you can just observe here when the clock is high when the clock is high just click when the clock is high both the inputs are zero zero so you can see it is a reset okay next when the clock is high your j and k is one zero that means it is set q is equal to one and q bar is equal to zero finally the last very important condition when it is one one when it is one one you can see here the first condition q is zero and q bar is one we want a toggling condition right so here you can observe again at one one your q has become one and q bar has become zero here it was zero one here it is one zero so therefore it is toggling when it is one one okay the same thing can also be seen in the form of the console in the form of the variables here in the console okay so this is all regarding your experiment number 4 we have covered all the four flip flops sorry all the three flip flops but in different videos the only simple reason because if you want to see a particular flip flop only then you can just see that particular video that was the reason why we did it with the three parts okay so if you have any doubts with uh, in regard with this uh, flip flops or in regard with any of the experiment you can just message us thank you for watching we'll again meet up in the next video